So I'm going to need that letter, Brona. What's your name, please? Laura. Laura. Hello. Hello, Laura. So I'm going to need that letter that um, Michael um, is unable to continue with what's going on with me with these kind of places. That I need a letter that I have been putting it on my Facebook page that I'm going outside Dal Air, I'm ending my life, I'm putting the names of all the people that have pushed me this far, right? That I came here two years ago after a member of Garda Shikana threatened me with my life. They're my leaflets there that I distributed in Rhone Ireland. You know, you know what they're about. It's the most hard hitting truth that is spoken on this island, and, and I'm the speaker. I have my videos um, of me outside all year on my Beyond Shame protest with my dog and he put me out on the streets. I'm the only man that has the moral standard required to defend my own truth. There's no one on the island that has the moral standard required to defend that truth. There's no one on the island can challenge that truth. I have put it all over the Obrecht's page since last Friday. I have emphasised that I will take my life to highlight that I have enough of my life be taken off me from Irish people. Rapists, paedophiles, murderers, drug dealers, gangland criminals, all these people have stability in their lives. I did everything correct when I was reared in this country. I went to work. I went out working paying private landlords, paying their mortgages. My life has been removed from me. It's futile to interact with you, because every day is the same. It's a crime against humanity to make a person constantly walk the streets Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Can you understand that? Can you understand the consistency? How it can play havoc with a person? That's a crime against humanity. The Irish are guilty of crime against This business is guilty. So what I'm requesting here this evening is a letter so that one of my body is found outside all air and people may investigate what led me to this, that this place has also contributed for the last two years, that the people here are not qualified to address issues. I came here, um, as I explained to this young girl, two years ago after a member of Garda Shikana threatened my life. He told me if I continued to speak the truth, I would go missing and never again be found. Subsequently, one person who tried to defend my truth was found dead. They had their throat cut from there to there. So I left that environment and I couldn't go back to my own town where I'm from because I had been abducted by a dangerous gang, all housed, rewarded and protected because the crimes they commit are used as a distraction by the media. The media focus on those crimes, they distract them. The white collar criminality, criminality that's going on in these businesses, allowing people to walk the streets seven days a week. And then every evening at five o'clock, regardless of the weather conditions, saying to them, how are you today? How do you think they would be? How do you think I would feel when I'm walking around within leaflets, standing up for people that have been abused like me? How, how, how would you feel? My stability and my chance of a life was taken off me by Irish people. And you've done it to me for the last two years also. Yourselves, Dublin, Simon Outridge. He exploits vulnerable situations people end up. That's what TD <coughs> services do. And you profit from other people's misery. So I'm going to require that letter, um, Brona. You say, Michael has enough that he was never suicidal. He was never suicidal. That people like these people, yeah. It's no bother. I'm dealing with ignorance all my life. All my life. I won't be able to write it. I'll I need a letter. This is. I am not able. I. I'm not able to continue. I'm not able to continue with my life being taken from me. I'm 47 years of age. I did everything correct in life. I made one mistake. I stood up for people. It's on my leaflet. It's on my leaflet, man. Profits and victims. It's there in black and white. I made a mistake. I stood up for people and I have been abused ever since. That's my mistake. That's what I did wrong. I never, I'm not a criminal, but I feel I'm in a prison here every day of the week. I have to go, I have no stability. I have no chance of getting my life back anymore. My life is taken from me and they're my leaflets and you've read enough of them. Understand them, educate yourselves. I'm gonna require that letter.